So I'd like to share um, a story, a real story about a bald eagle that came in for care last fall. A bird like a bald eagle that is basically a fish eating bird was being healed by fish skin on her wound. This eagle was found at a campground and was not able to fly. We brought her in to examine and she had a very large wound on her lower leg. Bird skin is like working with wet tissue paper. It tears, it's very difficult to close a defect like that. This leg, this dying wound would have killed her. There's no doubt in my mind she was on her way to dying when she came in. Not only was the wound big, but it was old. Flies had laid eggs and hatched into maggots and it was missing the skin covering. So I knew I wasn't gonna be able to close this wound anytime soon. I had to start thinking outside the box and I reached out to Karasis for help. And they actually put me in touch with a veterinarian who helps to counsel veterinarians like myself. And I believe the first graft procedure was done about four or five weeks into the treatment. I was surprised how easy it was to work with the graft. It comes dried in a package and once it's rehydrated, it's very pliable. So this wound had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of irregular surfaces, and the graft really adhered to it nicely. It accommodated all of that. I was shocked. Um, in a good way. And immediately there were more blood vessels coming in. There was more skin production. It was the convincing factor for me that um, without it, we're going to be here forever. And with it, there's a chance we're actually going to get this huge gaping wound to actually close. With this bird, uh, who we named Kier after Kerasis, I thought that was only fitting um, since that was going to save her life. Kier is one of those birds that I do get very attached to. He's the petty. Just think a little petty girl. Good girl. Good girl. When you're working hands-on, face-to-face with an individual bird, it's a remarkable level of trust that has to be built. Um, she has to trust me that when I put a pan of food in front of her, it's okay to eat it. It's okay even though she doesn't like it. When I wrap a towel around her and I lay her on the table to change her bandage, she learned that if she could just watch what was going on, she didn't pull her leg away. She didn't fuss or try to get up off the table. And it's so rewarding to see her uh, flourish. She just has been remarkable. It's going to be a very bittersweet day when she goes loose and I let her go. Um, I want that for her and that's been the goal. That's why we did all this all along. That's always been the goal, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough one for, for me and the whole staff. We've all gotten to know her and, and she's remarkable. I can't say enough good things about how the skin graft material has improved proved her wound quality. It's real and I've continued to use it on other birds. So we know Kier's journey with us is coming to an end and that's a happy end. We know the wound is healing, she's flying, she's getting stronger. This is going to be a really special release. We invite the public to come, uh, we gather up at a public place and we talk a little bit about this bird's journey which has been a long one but we can abbreviate and then share in the joy of opening that little crate and letting the door open and watching her fly off.